Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bear Hybrid mattress. Now, Bear is a very popular brand, and this is their luxury hybrid follow-up to their original foam mattress. So we're excited to show it to you. Stick around. One of the first things people want to know about a mattress is just how soft it is. And in the case of the Bear Hybrid, we would classify this as a medium on our softness spectrum. Now, if you've watched or read our review of the original Bear all foam mattress, you know that we classified that one as a medium firm meaning just to the firmer side of medium. But what I wanted to add to that was that these two mattresses are maybe even a little closer than that would suggest uh, because the Bear Hybrid is probably towards the firmer side of our medium bucket. Um, so while we're putting them into different classifications, I just wanted to make clear that the difference in softness between these two is pretty subtle. Now let's get into what's actually in a Bear Hybrid mattress. And in total, what you're talking about here is a 14 inch mattress with six layers. And I think the story has to start with the cover of this mattress because the cover contains a, a textile called Cellient. And Cellient was recently approved or designated by the FDA as a medical device or general wellness product. Uh, which I consider to be a pretty big deal because essentially uh, what it means is that they found some things in their testing of this material and the FDA has reviewed uh, the claims they've made on the basis of that testing and decided that they approve of those claims being made. So what are those claims specifically about what effect Cellient has? Well, specifically it's been found to increase local blood flow uh, at the point of application, meaning like kind of where you're touching it. Um, and what that has the potential to do is uh, promote more restful sleep uh, because of the fact that you are increasing blood flow um, and you're improving muscle recovery through the night by being in contact with this uh, material. Uh, so that's, that's a pretty big deal to me that the FDA has weighed in on this and actually uh, uh, come out on the side of that these are there's some valid claims being made here uh, and I might add that this salient material is the same salient material used in the cover of the original all foam bear mattress too um, so just to finish up on the cover the cover is uh, you know besides having the salient material is a pretty standard mattress cover you know a nice well constructed mattress cover with some uh, tape edge here and some a sturdy side panel it's also, as you can see here, one that you can zip off. You can't zip it off completely. It's actually um, uh, zip offable on three sides. So it kind of opens like a clamshell, if you will. But it allows us to really fully open up the mattress and show you the insides. Um, so uh, the other thing you should note is that the cover itself has some quilting. It has about two inches of quilting, uh, pretty soft quilted foam, basically. Uh, it's actually a gel foam in here. Um, they call it hyper soft, and I would agree, it's definitely got some, some typical quilt foam softness to it, uh, but it's not memory foam. Uh, however, below that, you have two, a two inch layer of something that is memory foam, it's gel memory foam in a three and a half pound density. Uh, that said, I do wanna just show you that it is very fast responding memory foam. So it's not that super ooey gooey, uh, slow responding stuff that you see in some other mattresses. Um, and then right below that, you have effectively uh, a 10 inch layer of, of stuff, which is uh, a one inch layer of polyurethane foam and a 1.8 pound density, and another one inch layer of the same thing uh, that are both glued to a pocketed coil unit. Uh, that's sort of, so that all together is sort of functioning as a unit. And the pocketed coils, the eight inch pocketed coil unit is uh, you, what you see here are actually edge support coils. So these are narrower or skinnier diameter coils than what you have throughout most of the mattress. You just have a couple of rows of these that are stronger, sturdier, uh, skinnier coils designed to give the mattress a nice strong edge with great edge support. Um, so, so, uh, but, but all throughout this mattress is uh, pocketed coils. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, insides and construction of the uh, Bear Hybrid mattress. So now let's get into the two things that everybody has to get from their mattress, which are back support and pressure relief. And I'm going to start on my back because that's the position I predominantly sleep in. And just for context here, I'm about six feet tall, not quite 200 pounds. And what you can see here is that I'm pretty well suited for this mattress on my back. Um, 
your, your object here is to keep your spine in a neutral alignment while you're sleeping, uh, which on your back means that you have to have that lumbar curve in its normal neutral shape. What you can see here is that I'm definitely getting some good support in my lumbar. My hips are also allowed to sink, allowed to sink in a little bit, just enough, but not too much. Um, so all of this is relatively unsurprising, given that this is a medium level of softness, kind of a average level of cushioning depth, that's generally gonna be a very good fit for back sleepers, um, particularly in a middleweight range like me, but I would actually say this is gonna be pretty good fit from a spinal alignment standpoint for most back sleepers, really, including people significantly lighter and also people who are even significantly heavier than me, um, you know, within some, within some range. Um, now, let's go to stomach sleepers. And um, now I don't spend a whole lot of time on my stomach, but uh, the time I spent on my stomach, I actually, I, I, I tried to spend some extra time on my stomach to make sure I was able to assess this. And I, I do feel like I was getting good spinal alignment on my stomach. I, f I was worried just because of the quilting here that there might be um, too much overarching. Uh, I did not experience that. I was felt well supported on my stomach. I do think that anyone lighter than me would feel likewise, that pretty much stomach sleepers my weight or lighter would be well served from a spinal alignment standpoint. Um, I guess if I have any concern about stomach sleepers, it might be people significantly heavier than me. I mean, in general, that would be where my mind would go, is that um, someone significantly heavier could experience some overarching um, if the heaviest part of their body were to, were to dip a little too much here. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not too concerned about it, but if I had a concern, that would be where it would be as far as stomach sleepers go. Um, now let's move to my side. Um, and this is the position where uh, you're gonna have to think about not only back support, but also pressure relief because your body's weight is distributed over the small surface area. Um, this is an area where the mattress kind of surprised me a little bit. I was expecting the pressure relief to be okay, um, and it turned out to be kind of better than okay. Um, I thought just based on the foams here that it would be totally solid and acceptable, um, and, and it was better. Um, and I don't know if it was better because the foams just did a better job than, than I thought they would, or if perhaps it has something to do with this salient cover, which if the story is real, uh, which According to the FDA, there is something real here. Um, if it's increasing blood flow, then that should actually be something that kind of counteracts pressure points. Pressure points are things that kind of restrict blood flow. So in a way, you would kind of, it's, it's conceivable that a cover like this that, that, that does what, it, what it's supposed to do could actually um, kind of enhance the effects of whatever foams are providing in terms of pressure relief. And so, uh, kind of, well, one way or another, I did feel like the pressure relief here was very good. Maybe not like the absolute best, uh, but totally solid. And I think it would be pretty much, I feel pretty good about both lighter sleepers and heavier sleepers um, in the same range. Like maybe not the best pressure relief that those folks could find, but very, totally solid, very good. Um, maybe with the possible exception, again, of like, significantly heavier, like more than 50 pounds heavier than me, 50 to 100 pounds heavier than me. It's hard for me to project uh, how deep into the mattress one would go. Um, if you were to bottom out on those, uh, on that memory foam layer, then it's possible you'd find a little bit more pressure points just because you'd be coming up against the springs, but the springs it's themselves are pocketed coils that should conform reasonably well. So. Um, Again, not a huge concern, but if I had a concern, uh, that would probably be where it would be from a, from a pressure release standpoint. Um, from a spinal alignment standpoint, as you can see here, um, my shoulder is able to get pretty nicely into the mattress. Um, so overall, I felt pretty well served from a, from a spinal alignment standpoint. I, I felt like, um, you know, in general, people, I think, in the middle weight range are gonna be pretty well served here. Again, um, if I have a concern here, maybe it's gonna be people who are, um, you know, not at all curvy. You might have, you might find that your, um, 
your heaviest parts go a little too far into the bed, but um, overall, I, I'm not too concerned from a spinal alignment standpoint. I don't have like an obvious weak point, I guess, from a spinal alignment standpoint amongst side sleepers here either. So overall, I think um, this is designed to serve a pretty uh, broad range of sleepers from both pressure relief and spinal alignment standpoint. So now let's get into what we call preference-based characteristics, which means things that are neither better nor worse, they're just a matter of your personal preferences. And the first of these we call responsiveness, which is the difference between that sort of slow, melty memory feel or a quick responding bounce. And you can have both of those things in the same mattress, as is the case to a degree with the Bear Hybrid. So we'll, we'll test the memory feel first. And what you see here is that there is just a little bit of that delayed memory effect which is coming from that two inches of gel memory foam we showed you, but because that memory foam is so quick responding, it's, it's just a very slight uh, effect. And what I can tell you is that when you're laying on the mattress, you're definitely not getting a lot of that slow, melty, kind of classic memory sensation on this mattress. Uh, so let's move over now to the bounce. And we start usually at the surface by just kind of poking and prodding at the surface a little bit to test for bounce. And there's not a lot of bounce up in this quilt layer, especially since when you get through the quilt layer, you end up in that shock absorbing memory foam layer. So not a lot of surface bounce. Let's now test what we call mid-level bounce, which we test with this 16 pound bowling ball. And you see there that the bowling ball, the, some of the force of the bowling ball is being absorbed by the uh, memory foam. But of course, right below that are all those springs. So it is bouncing up uh, as a result of that. So a little bit of mid-level bounce. Now we'll test the deep bounce. What you can see there is that uh, I would say there's a decent amount of deep bounce. It's like pushes my whole 200 pounds back up. So uh, the deeper you go into the mattress, the more bounce you find uh, is, the, is the upshot. And overall, I'd classify this as just a hint of memory feel with a, a reasonable amount of bounce. The next preference-based characteristic is cushioning depth, which is the difference between sleeping more in your mattress or being hugged or cradled by it versus sleeping on your mattress or getting that kind of floating above your mattress sensation. In the case of the Bear Hybrid, we would say this is a mattress with pretty average amount of cushioning depth. And on balance, we would put the feel of it to be pretty much in between that uh, cradled hug sensation and that floating on top of it sensation. You kind of get a little bit of both of those, but not clearly towards one end or the other of that spectrum. So now we're gonna head into what we call priority-based characteristics, which are things that can be better or worse, but may or may not be a priority for you personally. And the first of these is motion isolation, which as you may know, means to what degree is the person on say that side of the mattress gonna be aware of or affected by what's happening over here. And the first way we're gonna test that is by dropping this 16 pound bowling ball and seeing what happens to that bowling pin. And as you can see, the bowling pin, it just, it moves a little bit, but uh, not very much. Uh, now keep in mind some of the movement that you see in this bowling pin is attributable to the underlying adjustable base that we have this on. But I'm gonna also test it by putting my whole 200 pounds down on the mattress, kind of just carelessly get into bed next to my partner. And you can see, again, the bowling pin does not tip over. So on balance, we would say that the pocketed coil construction of this mattress is doing its job and isolating motion pretty well. We would say this is uh, very good motion isolation. One concern that some people have is the ease of repositioning on a mattress, and that's of particular concern when a mattress has memory foam in it like this one does. Uh, but what we wanted to point out here is that this is probably not going to be an issue for you on the Bear Hybrid. Uh, we didn't find repositioning to re be much of a challenge at all, and I think that's because of the fact that the memory foam in this mattress is very quick responding, like we showed you earlier. Um, and we also talked about how the cushioning depth is kind of average, but not deeper than average. Both of those two things can contribute to difficulty and we don't think you're likely to encounter those types of difficulties on this mattress. One important concern for some people is edge support. So we're always careful to cover this in our reviews. And in the case of the Bear Hybrid, this is certainly a strength of this mattress. As you can see, I'm sitting on the edge right here and my feet are barely even touching the ground. So it's bearing almost all of my weight here. And yet still barely any dip uh, on the side of the mattress uh, as I sit on it. So uh, I'm gonna just show you how it looks with me laying here. And you can see, uh, I always get my shoulder blade right 
there for consistency and you can see that it's also excellent. Um, I feel 100% stable in this position. So overall, clearly edge support is excellent on this mattress. One important concern for many people is temperature or overheating during the night. And that can be of particular concern on a mattress that has memory foam in it like this one does. Um, what we would say on this front as it relates to the Bear Hybrid is that, first of all, it does have gel memory foam, um, as we showed you earlier, and gel as a conductor, so that does help heat travel a little bit more efficiently away from your body during the night. Um, but more than that, what we would say for, the, for people who are concerned about this is that this mattress, to me, doesn't really fit the profile of the type of mattress that's likely to cause heat-related issues. Uh, first and foremost, it's a spring mattress, and it in fact uses edge-to-edge -edge springs. So meaning even for the edge support of the mattress, it's using springs as opposed to uh, a foam perimeter, which can impede airflow. Um, so there's, there's room for a lot of air to be flowing easily uh, into and out of this mattress, really on all four sides. Um, the second thing is that on the top surface of the mattress, where it's touching your body, this is a quilted cover with a lot of undulations, as you can see. And one of the benefits of that from the standpoint of temperature is that less of your body surface area is touching the mattress at any given time, which means that more of your body surface area is exposed to the air and thereby able to more efficiently dispel heat. Um, so in other words, even though this mattress has memory foam in it, it's not the kind of mattress that's going to hug and you know, really conform super closely to your body. Uh, which is the kind that you are more likely to have heat-related issues on, all else being equal. So on balance, I think that if this is an area of concern for you, then those are certainly some things that you can take some comfort from in this case. Another important consideration for some people is the degree of natural materials in the mattress, or maybe more so just the lack of harmful chemicals. And in the case of the Bear Hybrid, we should start by being clear that, that this is not in any way a natural mattress per se. Uh, that being said, if this is an area of concern for you, I do think there are a couple things you can take some comfort from. Starting with the fact that as a hybrid mattress uh, that uses springs for not only the underlying support but also the edge support, it uses a lot less foam than an all foam mattress and even than uh, some other inner spring mattresses. Um, so that's good from just an off-gassing and uh, chemical perspective since springs have no potential for off-gassing. Um, and the second thing would be that all the foams in this mattress are certified to the CertiPure standard, which is a standard that looks for the presence of and off-gassing of various harmful materials and certifies that neither are present beyond some minimally acceptable threshold. So for those people who have a concern in this area, I do think you can take some reassurance from those two things. One thing we get asked about more and more is adjustable base compatibility. And when we think about this, we always think about it from three standpoints. The first is, is it going to damage the mattress in any way to use it on the mattress? And in the case of the Bear Hybrid, the answer is no. It's made to be uh, bent and flexed in this manner. So uh, you shouldn't have problems from a damage standpoint. Uh, the second thing is how well does it conform to the curves of an adjustable base? So to test that, we've got it in a fully articulated position here and you can see it does very well uh, overall uh, particularly in light of the fact that this is really only the second time that we've had it in this position and mattresses all mattresses are going to take a little time to break in in this regard and what you can see is uh, even in the front of the mattress at the foot um, I'd say it probably does a better job than most in terms of conforming to the base uh, a lot of times we see a bigger gap there in the foot between the bottom of the mattress and the top of the base. Uh, so it does pretty well. I guess one area where maybe um, it's just it's gonna take a little bit more time is when you get off the mattress, you do see that it, it kind of lifts up a little bit. Um, so again, I expect that over time, it's gonna be able to hold its shape better. And then the third category of things we think about with adjustable base compatibility is does anything weird happen when you have it in a fully articulated position? Um, one thing we look for is any bowing of the edge support, uh, which can be an issue with a foam perimeter, but is definitely not an issue with edge coil type of edge support like the Bear Hybrid uses. So uh, nothing weird on that front. Uh, I'd say the only thing that uh, stands out to me is that with a mattress like this that has a couple inches of foam sewed into the quilting, 
you do sometimes get a little bit of buckling here in the quilt when you have both the head and foot fully elevated. And although I didn't notice it before when I was on the base, when it was elevated, I noticed it a little bit now, now that I got off and got back on. And I think if one were to get on over here on the side that nobody was on when the base was first elevated, I think they would notice it a little bit as well. So all in all, we would certainly say that the Bear Hybrid is adjustable base compatible, just maybe not the best in this regard. So as part of our review of the Bear Hybrid, we wanna just give you a sense of what to expect when this mattress arrives. So uh, what you see here is a pretty typical sized box for most online mattresses. This one weighs 90 pounds in a queen size, which is enough that you're probably gonna want two people to move it uh, more than a short distance. Um, but uh, maybe if you're just repositioning it in the room, you might be able to do that on your own. So with that said, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, well, there you have it. That's the uh, Bear Hybrid mattress, uh, fully unboxed. It's, uh, as you can see here, it's still kind of rising up. Um, gonna take a little time to uh, come up to its full height uh, and certainly to its full feel. But uh, we'll obviously give it that time that it needs to, uh, to do that before we do our full review on it. But one thing we do like to do right when we open it is give you a sense of um, kind of any initial off-gassing or new mattress smell that we're getting, which I can tell you that I'm not getting really anything from this height. Um, so that's actually a, a good sign. Let's see. I mean, actually I would say, even from putting my nose right in it, that's much more faint than most online mattresses we open. So I would say that I, there's way less off-gassing with this mattress than the typical average online mattress that we open up. So. There's your unboxing. Three things that are gonna be important anytime you're buying a mattress online are delivery, return policy, and warranty. In the case of delivery, delivery of the Bear Hybrid is gonna be completely free to your doorstep. And then of course, like a lot of online mattresses, you'll be responsible for taking it in the house, uh, to your bedroom, taking it out of the box, all the things that we showed you in our unboxing setup. Um, in the case of return policy, you're gonna have 100 nights to sleep on this mattress, during which time you can return it for any reason. The one thing that they do ask, which again is becoming increasingly common amongst online mattress companies, is that you give it at least 30 days to let your body adjust to the new mattress. And then if you do find yourself in a situation where you do need to return it, one nice thing they offer is that they will actually arrange to have it come, uh, to have it picked up from you. So that's a nice convenience in that situation. Uh, in terms of the warranty, Bear offers what we would consider to be a pretty standard warranty. It's a 20 year warranty. Uh, the first 10 years are non-prorated and the second 10 years are prorated. And in terms of the most important term in any mattress warranty, they define uh, an allowable dip as one and a half inches measured when no one's on the mattress, uh, which for the mattress industry is basically industry standard for an inner spring mattress. So overall, a pretty standard warranty. One thing that's important to just about every mattress shopper is value. And when we think about value, we think about how much does it cost, what's in it, and how long do we think it's going to last. Starting with the cost, the current price of the Bear Hybrid mattress is $1,390 in a queen size for the mattress by itself. Uh, and that would be before any good bed discounts are applied, which tend to be pretty substantial. Um, in terms of what you're getting for that, you're getting a hybrid mattress with what we would consider to be two inches of premium comfort material, specifically that gel memory foam layer that we showed you, over a really solid pocketed coil uh, unit with a couple rows of stronger uh, coils going around the perimeter for edge support. Um, and then it's wrapped in this very unique cover that contains salient fiber. Um, in terms of how long we think that's going to last, uh, starting with the coil unit, I would say that I have no concerns about the uh, longevity prospects of this coil unit. I think that's uh, a, a very solid component. Um, I guess if I had a concern, it might be with the top layers of the mattress. Those are generally the parts of the mattress that are most vulnerable to breaking down over time. And in this case, uh, we would turn to foam densities there, which are 
our best but not at all perfect predictor of longevity. And, and based on those, I would say, you know, the quilting layer of 1.8 pounds is, that's, that's okay. Um, and the three and a half pound gel memory foam feels like it's a little on the lower side as gel memory foam goes. Um, so if I had a concern, it might be somewhere in those layers. Um, altogether, that amounts to four inches of foam. Um, I don't expect it's likely to be a problem, but again, if I had a concern with the possible longevity issues, it would be somewhere in those foam layers, possibility of softening or maybe developing some sort of body impressions. Um, but I certainly think that um, it's less prone to that than the average mattress you might find um, in your local mattress store, which oftentimes is gonna use much lower density quilting foam in particular than what you see here, and even lower density memory foam for that matter. So now to circle back to how this all equates to overall value, we would typically compare this to both what you might find in a local store as well as what other options you're gonna have online. And I would certainly say that relative to options you might find in a local store, this compares uh, pretty favorably, particularly when you factor in the good bed discounts. Um, in terms of what you're gonna uh, find online and how this compares, if I were to remove the selling it cover from the equation, I might say that the value here is okay. Um, it's not certainly uh, bad, uh, but it's also not the best, just on a straight up kind of mattress for your money standpoint. However, with the salient cover, what I would say is that you are definitely getting something very unique here. Um, if you buy into the story of what this salient fabric can do, uh, and frankly, with the FDA's approval um, that has been granted, I am inclined to buy into it, then I think this is offering some benefits that you, you can't necessarily get in other mattresses. So if those are benefits that you place value on, then I definitely think that this is a very good value, even relative to those other online options. So just to sum up some of the things we've covered in this video, the Bear Hybrid is a 14 inch hybrid mattress that we would classify as a gel memory foam over pocketed coil construction. And it's wrapped in a very unique salient cover. Uh, we talked about how this mattress probably has a pretty broad applicability from a spinal alignment and pressure relief standpoint. We did call out uh, heavier stomach sleepers as a possible concern on this, issue, on this mattress. Uh, likewise, from a pressure relief standpoint, maybe a significantly heavier side sleepers than me or significantly lighter might have an issue on this mattress. But overall, I do think it has a very broad range of people that it could suit uh, on, on both the spinal alignment and pressure relief standpoint. From uh, a feel standpoint, we classified the softness of this mattress as a medium on our spectrum. Uh, likewise, we said that this is a mattress that has kind of a blend in terms of sleeping in the mattress, uh, kind of a cross between that hugged and cradled sensation and the floating on top of your bed sensation that you get from sleeping on your mattress. Um, we also said uh, this mattress does have some bounce. Um, but it's not as bouncy as a lot of inner spring mattresses. Um, we also talked about how if you're looking for a lot of that slow melting into the bed kind of memory sensation, you're not really gonna get a lot of that on this mattress. Um, however, if you are looking for a mattress that has excellent motion isolation, excellent edge support, uh, has this very unique salient cover with the health benefits that come with that that have actually been studied by the FDA. Uh, and if all the other characteristics and criteria that we described in this video sound like a good match for you, then we certainly think that the Bear Hybrid is one that you should consider. So we hope this video was helpful for you in determining whether the Bear Hybrid mattress is the right mattress for you. If you're still not sure though, we really recommend that you go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz, which you can find right on the homepage of our website or up in the header of any page of our website. This quiz will walk you through all of the same criteria and considerations that we covered in this video, and ultimately will show you mattresses that best match your personal needs and preferences, both online as well as in the local stores in your area. So we really think that this is a helpful resource that every mattress shopper ought to take advantage of. In the meantime though, we thank you for watching and we really hope you sleep well.